Thank you, Tim. And how's it going, everybody? I'm here now with your full forecast. Giving you another look at these current temperatures, not really to look at the temperatures, but to show you, you can see with the winds that this front is sort of hanging over West Texas right now. It's going to continue to make its way south as we get through the rest of the day. We had some gusty winds this afternoon, but those have since calmed down and they're now under about 10 miles per hour, but they are going to pick up tomorrow. But looking at tonight's lows, you see we're mainly in the 40s. That cold front's dropping us about 10 degrees from where we were yesterday. Cooler temperatures up north because the cold front has since passed. You see 41 for a lot of these northern counties. Down south, it's going to be a little bit warmer. You see even up to 50 degrees still in Mason, 46 in Junction because that cold front is going to be passing over later tonight. So for Turkey Day, it's finally here. Hope your stomachs are ready. We've talked a lot about the weather, but it's going to be a windy one. Wind gusts are going to be at 25 miles per hour. Winds themselves still at 20, so it's going to be a pretty breezy one, but we progressed pretty well, especially seeing how this time last week, even beforehand, we were saying that there were going to be some rain chances. Of course, that rain chance has now shifted to overnight before the holiday. Now for low temperatures on Thanksgiving Day, you're going to be down to 33 degrees. It's going to be a very chilly one. You saw the story earlier about if you don't have anywhere to go, there is a shelter that you can be able to find some warmth and shelter. You see we can hit about 33 degrees here in San Angelo, 31 up here in Anson and Abilene, even down to 27 in Eastland. So it's going to be a chilly one. Make sure you're bundling up or if you're doing some Black Friday shopping, maybe stick it out inside and just do your shopping online. So look, taking a look at your time pass here to show you what these rain chances could look like overnight. You see there's a little something here in this northwest area that will be that'll be dissipating pretty quickly as we continue through the rest of tonight. We're going to lose some cloud cover as it shifts down with the front. You see Thursday at 4 a.m. Really the only rain chances are down here in the south around Junction, Brady and Ozona. And as we continue through the night and those leave the area, those rain chances are really going to leave West Texas altogether. But looking at the rest of the state, if you're going to be doing any holiday traveling. You see that rain is going to be continuing southeast towards all of the major cities of Texas. If you're going to be in about Dallas, um, Dallas or Austin, that rain will be clearing out by dinner time. But if you be in coastal cities like Corpus Christi and Houston, you see they might be seeing that rain all the way through dinner time into the later evening. So your Black Friday forecast, if you're going to be doing any shopping, it's going to be especially chilly in the morning, 35 degrees, but it'll warm up as you get through the rest of the day. Maybe wait until later in the day for the sun to be out before you head outside. So wrapping up with your seven day forecast, we're going to have great weather, those gusty winds on Thursday, and we'll have those cloudy skies continue into Friday and the rest of the weekend. On Saturday, we could be seeing a very, very weak low pressure system come in uh, that could bring a couple of showers to southern counties, but really not much to worry about right now. Just focus on the holidays and being with your family.